Hey guys, this is Peter, and I've had two questions in the last 24 hours about, well, mobile antennas. One person, uh, Yuri, is trying to use it on a, uh, is Yuri, Yuri's using it on a mobile device. Uh, so, and uh, you can use these antennas for mobile, of course. Another person's using it to try and get by HOA. Now, the HOA can't keep you from putting up a TV antenna, and you could always use a TV antenna housing to put anything inside of, including a, well, a, a better antenna, like the ProxyCast 2x2. But anyway, here we go. One of them is using, uh, let's see, Yuri has this one, the 7-in-1. This is a great antenna. It's got four, it's a 4x4 MIMO. It also has two for Wi-Fi and one for GPS. So it basically has everything in one little antenna. Now, when we talked to Kevin and when we talked to Jim over at ProxyCast, they let us know that, well, sometimes you want to get a lot of metal up in the air, especially when you're dealing with lower frequencies. So if you're trying to pick up an N71, it could be challenging. However, I think Yuri wrote and said he has a, a well, recreational vehicle, like a camper, that is made out of metal. And of course, this is going to help us a lot to get outside. So I don't have this particular one, but I do have one that's very similar. And his question is about the, the leads. So I have this one. It's got four, it's a four by four Mimo and it's really, really small. I put it outside on my roof and I gotta tell you, first thing I did was just look at the bars and I had two bars before and I hooked it up and I had two bars. So I switched the leads and I had two bars. And I went, huh, that's odd. I went inside and looked and there's a huge difference. Bars only measure power. Power isn't everything, power is just power. You also have signal quality, integrity, and bands, and all that. So let's take a look at that. I do have a ton of videos on this. So this is the one that Yuri has. I think what Jose wanted to do was to get something like this and, well, comply with HOA or steer under the radar of those people that have nothing better to do than bitch about what their neighbors are doing. So uh, this is really a tiny antenna. I have it outside of my roof, and I ran my wires around, so I've been doing that. Here's what happens if nothing's connected. My primary signal, you'll notice two bars. The top of the unit says two bars. Well, you're gonna see when I hook up to it, uh, this antenna that all these signals change. I get some really decent qualities and uh, signal to noise improves dramatically. So just to remind you, what we're looking for is the power. You're looking for the most, obviously you want a powerful signal, but you can't always get power. We're looking for at least 100 dB, or it's a negative, so uh, the, the lower the number, the better, because it's negative. So 80 would be phenomenal, and sometimes I'll even pull 75 with some huge professional antennas that I have outside. This isn't the case. What we're trying to do is get a good number. Signal-to-noise ratio, sometimes we get 20, but you know, really what we're looking for is 10 or above. That's a positive number. And reference signal receive quality, we're looking for negative 10. So this is the out, this is the unit outdoors. But I'm going to go ahead and hook up some antenna leads to it. And we're going to run this scan again. Because this is what it, it yields. And it still says two bars. So I can understand the frustration of going, I hooked up the antenna you said to buy and it has two bars. And a lot of people said, I did it and I returned it immediately. It's like, you know you have 30 days, right? So give it a give it a moment. So oftentimes what I'll do if I'm not sure about something is when I'm in within my 30 days, I say I want to return it, and it gives me another 30 days. And I keep playing with it. And sometimes I end up keeping it. Most of the time I end up keeping it. But anyway, here we are. Two bars and probably some really dumb speeds. Let's go ahead and click this real quick and just see what we're getting for speed. Dun, dun, dun. 22 ping that's actually pretty good of course it is outside so a two bars is not terrible this is just the unit outside this is the uh the nokia by the way now a lot of people want to know uh how do you get these numbers uh, i we do have an app we discovered it's the hint app and i talk all about it and in another video i'll put a link to that the hint app video there we go so we're getting 288 and 10 but still it's an embarrassing achievement because uh well it's not that great i'm going to hook up the leads to the antennas and uh, uh we're going to take a look all right i'm going to pause okay so i'm back um what i did was i added the antennas 
just two, you know, if there's, it's a four by four. So I added the wires kind of randomly to see what we would get. Now, what I would normally do if they were not paired is you put on, just pick one pair and try it out. And you could try it on all the different leads until you find an improvement. That's obviously one pair. And then you could try the other ones. So obviously the other two would be the other pair. So let's take a look, see what kind of improvement we got. Hit F5 once again. Aha, we did just step up to three bars, but it is fleeting, so it'll change. So that's okay. Uh, we're getting a better signal to noise. We're getting more power, better signal to noise. We've actually picked up a second signal. Oh, I should have done this before, but we see, what were we getting before? It's also the bands we're getting. B66 is an excellent band. N41 is the choice for this modem. So N41 is 2,500 megahertz. It is actually the, the crown jewel of T-Mobile right now. Eventually it's gonna be N48, N77, N88, but uh, we're not there yet. So I am getting, uh, I am getting much better, well, uh, this one, better signal. That's a better signal for sure. Now, what does that yield speed-wise? Well. For reliability-wise, it's going to be much better, too. But 288 and 10. Let's call it 288 and 10. It should be better. But, you know, what is most important is that it's... Um, you can count on it more. 20 millisecond ping. 288 just got floored by 450. Now, granted, I wanted to say... It, I wish it would say two bars, because a lot of them that I was testing said two bars, two bars. The bars don't matter. The bars are just a power achievement. And power isn't everything. I would give up a lot of power for better signal to noise, better quality scores, because this, look at this, 23 up. That doubled. So the download speed didn't double. The upload speed did. But if you were only looking at bars, you'd be like, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this antenna or not. You know, because it's uh, well, it only gave me a bar and it's kind of fleeting, you know, because it drops back and forth. Beep, beep. Yeah, it's still holding three, of course, because I'm doing a video. Uh, <laughs> if it, when I was testing it before, it was like two bars and two bars, but there was this kind of stark difference. It was dramatic. I'm going to go switch those leads. I'm going to take number two and switch it with number four and number four and move it back to number two and so that I have them out of pairs and we can kind of see what it does see why they didn't label them let's take a quick look all right well I switched them back and uh, let's see what happens I can hit f5 on this f5 does the same thing as refresh huh interesting I'm still getting three bars so the pairs are no longer the same but let's see what kind of let's first of all see what kind of a uh, Signal was B66 and 41 still. All right. Three bars, three bars. And they're the opposite pairs. I took the fourth one and switched it with the second one. And the second one and switched with the fourth. So I don't think it matters, actually. They seem like they're still doing great. Um, that signal to noise is even looking better, I think. Wow, that's the most important one, according to Kevin from Proxicast. So this guy knows his stuff, and he's saying, maximize your signal to noise. I just cleaned up. My reference signal received quality. Negative 10 is perfect. Negative 9 is even better. So negative 11 down here on my 5G signal. This is probably the proper pairing. That might even be better. Fun. All right, well, let's... 430 and 21. Let's see if we can beat it. So yeah, it should make a difference. It doesn't make a difference in the bars. I went from two to almost three to three to almost two. You know, it was, it didn't matter. 20 millisecond ping. Three fifty. I saw three fifty. Three sixty. 370, 380. Wow. All right, so closed out of 400. But this one's having a little chug fest on the, on the up speed. Interesting. It should be different bands. To, I'm going to go check that again because we're getting different results. This is your classic NSA score for me. Okay, so let me just see. Of course, it's NSA because that's all this modem does. F5. Look at that, I'm getting two bars there. 21, 11, and 100. Oh, it's because it's 
that hundreds the threshold. So as soon as you get like 99, it gives you an extra bar. Oh, look, 99, I got an extra bar. Big deal. There's basically no difference between those power scores. It's just, it's a marketing construct for crazy people. One of the guys I was talking to you about, I'm not sure if it was the proxy guys, uh, not. One of the guys I was talking to you about wireless, he said, bars, bars are for drunks. <laughs> And I thought that was funny because, yeah, if you're talking about bars, you're not really into the radio game. You got to get a little bit deeper. Let's see what signals we're getting. B66, N41. I'm not sure what the difference was there. B66, N41. I'm going to go back here. Three and three. Look at this. Yep, I've dropped to a hundred, less than 100. Those are some good scores still. Not bad for such a small antenna. Now, as uh, I want to be careful because Kevin wants to always be careful. He said you want to get a lot of metal in the sky for the lower frequencies. So for the higher frequencies, obviously, if you're dealing with millimeter wave, your antenna is going to be millimeter size or smaller. So it all has to do with the wave that you're trying to capture. Now, if I was trying to capture N71, such a small antenna may not be working, but if I'm driving around, definitely for the case of Yuri, you're in a camper and all you want to do is get the outside signal better, you're going to be screaming with this. This should be really good. Now, which order do you put the antennas in? I'd try them. I'd even put a piece of tape on them, number one, two, three, and four. Try out one and two. And if it doesn't work, try one and three. And if that doesn't work, you know, it probably will. But then try one and four, you know, because then I guess you'd already had the one and four with the two and three. But you get the idea. Swapping them and checking the difference like I just did. This looks like a good combination. Well, there you go, guys. That is this antenna outdoors. And you just try the different pairs different ways. And yeah, even though your bars don't increase or they don't substantially increase, that's just the power number. We didn't care about the power number anyway. Signal to noise is so much more important, and so is this reference signal receive quality. Stop looking at bars. <laughs> bars are for when you're thirsty. Uh, when you're when you're thirsty for uh, for speed, you want to look at, at the numbers like reference signal receive uh, quality and signal to noise ratio. Way more important. That's what we want to improve. There we go, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.